So this is where I got to um, with the last paint session. Um, and it's quite weird. I'm going to do a close up so you can see it as well. But it's really patchy. It's like the quality of paint, me, has been not very good. And it's something I've never had before where even with one layer, it, it's so rough. I think the reason why it happened was because I did this wash behind it with oil, very thin oil, and maybe it wasn't dry before I started putting the skin tones on because what I found is as I was painting, it would actually lift more paint off than I was managing to get on, if that makes sense. Um, so the good news is I'm about to do a second layer where we're going to make Tega look as beautiful as she is in real life. And, and um, yeah, so I think one of the main things to, one of the main reasons I wanted to show this is because sometimes our work looks shit <laughs> in, the, in the middle of it and you need to trust the process and persevere and not give up life metaphors every time I'm painting anything. It happens to me, especially on big walls. It's just a constant mix of thinking it looks fucking horrendous and, oh wow, actually that looks really good. Um, and when you think it looks horrendous, you've got to just keep going. And the more paint you put on and the harder you work at it, and the more effort you put into this, you'll get it in the end. So, yeah, perseverance is the key. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to start mixing up a new palette because the other one got a bit messed up. And I'm going to put another layer on. Um, the other thing is, this, is, this isn't oil, this is acrylic. And all I've done really is just pretty roughly just blocked in this with acrylic. The reason why I'm doing something like that with acrylic is just because it dries so quick and then I can easily come back and put oils on top and kind of finesse it a bit, finesse it a lot because um, it needs it. Look, it's proper rough. But from, from far, from a distance it looks cool, but then when you get close it's, it's proper patchy. So, let's get to work.
family session is amazing. Oh, everybody doing a different part, everybody being different, everybody, you know. And in a household, you learn about authority, right? You learn about order, you learn about selflessness, you learn about organization, you learn about competition, learn, and that's what a family gives you.
I actually think I took double <laughs> my medication today by mistake so I could be a little bit whoo, um yeah I can feel <laughs> okay um I'm about to start painting um Tager's t-shirt um and there's something quite interesting which I'm going to show and talk about in a minute, which is a blending technique that I found that I've never really seen anyone else do it. So this is secret shit. Um, I just found it by accident one day. And it's using these cheap as brushes. And yeah, I find them amazing for blending. So yeah, I'm gonna start painting and you'll see kind of how that how that works.